Welcome to the 2012 Nevis Outreach Conference. My name is Matt Luke. I'm so sorry I can't be with you this year. I'm sure this is going to be the best conference yet. I'm currently coaching my son's 11-year-old all-star team. We just won the district tournament. We're advancing to the regional tournament for our first game tomorrow night. It's an honor for me to talk with you today. I, like many of you, was born with a giant Nevis. My Nevis was in the middle of my face. And as a young child, my parents decided that they were going to have that removed, and I underwent five surgeries. My childhood was a tough one. I, I went to the hospital every other summer and came home with bandages stitched to my face and couldn't do all the things that kids love to do, going swimming and, and playing ball all the time. It was just a lot of resting, recuperating, and it was tough. It was a tough time for me. My toughest time was when I went back to school. When I went back to school, kids would mock me. They would call me names every day. They would make fun of me. It was truly, truly a difficult time for me. And I was having a, a tough time really finding my identity. But what I want to share with you today are a few of the, the traits that help change my perspective, that help give me self-esteem and give me confidence, that gave me a whole new look on who I was as an individual. The first one that I want to share is, is the love and support of my family and, and, and my close friends. People in my life that I turned to that were there for me and, and always encouraged me, accepted me for who I was on the inside. They didn't judge me for how I looked or for the scars that I would carry around, um, birthmark or, or scars or, or skin grafts. Uh, they, they just loved me for who I was, for what I was interested in and they took the time to invest in me. So um, those people are still in my life and I'm blessed by them and they're just a wonderful, wonderful um, encouragement to me still today. The second thing is finding my passion in life. My passion was baseball and at a young age I realized that I'd been given some gifts to go play baseball. But even more than that, it was a place where I found acceptance for the first time. In the classroom, People didn't accept me. They focused on my face. On the baseball field, people judged me and looked at me for how I competed and for how I performed. And for the first time in my life, I found an arena, a field, an area where I could escape all my problems and go find that acceptance. And I loved being on the baseball field. I was a part of something for the first time as a kid and it felt great. And it gave me confidence to really move forward and have faith in, in, in who I was. The last thing is my faith in God. And what God showed me was that I'm made and, and born perfectly in His image, a perfect child of His with no flaws. And I carry that with me today in, in knowing that, um, you know, people might think I'm imperfect and I'm bad or I'm ugly, and they do. And I'm far from perfect. But being, know, knowing that I was made perfect in God's image gives me a confidence that I walk with every day. And I hold that in my heart and in my head, and I walk with confidence. You know, it's an honor for me to be able to talk to you today. I'm so sorry I can't be with you. The message I really want to leave with you is that this Nevis family is filled with wonderful, unique people, and I'm proud to be part of it. But we can all be encouraged, and we can persevere through the difficulties that we all have with the Nevis, the giant Nevis, and um, just support one another, encourage one another, share our stories with each other, and let each other know that they're loved, that they're supported, and that we have, we can accomplish the, the goals and dreams that we want to. I was blessed to reach my goal as a Major League Baseball player. It didn't happen alone. It happened through the support of a lot of people and a lot of different things in my life that helped get me through those challenging times. So lean on each other. Have a great conference. I'm so sorry I can't be there. Enjoy the short video, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.